Good afternoon, brothers. Welcome to our brown bag gentlemen. Let me tip this back up so you can see me a little better. But that, what you see on the windowsill here is experiment for today. So I'm going to make aftershave from a recipe I'm trying to remember from the whip. I can't remember if I got it from West Coast Shave, or excuse me, not him. If I did, if I got it from Hendrix Shaving, or if I got it elsewhere, I don't recall. I was on Hendrix website just a bit ago and I was having trouble finding that recipe, so I'm going from memory because I'm itching to try it. So what I remembered was that you use white rum instead of witch hazel or, or vodka, because vodka, I remember reading, could affect the smell of your aftershave. So the white rum is supposed to do a better job with that. So I thought that was a good idea. Yes, there's perfumers, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. There's all that. But white rum was... Seven ninety five for a bottle of Bacardi White there at the, at the drugs at the liquor store here just a bit ago. So yeah, pretty inexpensive. So worth a shot. It's worth trying. I've got the scent. I've got. I had like a bottle and a half of little samples of Citrus Bomb from uh, West Coast Shave. I keep saying West Coast. My apologies. Hendrix Shaving. So what I had came up to two milliliters worth. And your scent is supposed, from the recipe, it was 2% of your volume is the essential oil. Half of that is glycerin. So we'll put in another one out or one milliliter rather of glycerin. And then the rest, of course, the 100% of that ends up being two, oh, sorry, two ounces. Oh, no, sorry, it ends up being 40 milliliters. Sorry, I'm going, I'm calculating in milliliters. I did all this calculation first on my calculator on my phone to get my percentages. So that's what I'm going with. Also, if I make a mistake, the bottle actually holds 60 milliliters. So if I need to, you know, calm it down a bit, I can. So not a problem. Um, so let's do that. So I've got my 40 milliliters. Yes, I've got, I already have these little beakers and stuff because my wife and I make other natural items at home, which I haven't shown you yet, but we do. <laughs> so. I've got that. I've got a new bottle I got also from Hendrix. Said it right this time. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's put this in here. Carefully. I'm in the bathroom, so if I make a mess, yeah, I can clean it up. I can tell you I dropped an ounce by accident on the floor of the citrus bomb, and it lasted for months. And that's like cleaning the floor every weekend. It still lasts. It's like, wow, and it's such a wonderful scent. Sorry, I'm going real slow and Gavin at the same time here. So this is a tester. We're going to see how this goes. And it's looking like about two thirds full is what it should look like. So yeah, it's looking about right. And the bottle I have has a little reducer cap in it too. So that was nice. You could get your choice of like a dropper or a reducer. And I, I chose the, the, the reducer so I could shake it on. Now, before I put in that two milliliters of scent, I'm going to go ahead and add my one milliliter. I think it might be easier to just do it all at once. So, open it. Again. Is this even open? Let me see. I didn't check this first. Yep, it's got a seal on it. Let me take the seal off it. There we go. Not way you scent glycerin. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to just look at this over here. I went on a flat surface. Let's see here. Just a tick more. Just another drop, another drop in here. Well, that's running down slow. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it run down there and we're gonna add that in. So yeah, so we've got two milliliters of citrus bomb scent and one milliliter of glycerin, which I got off of Amazon Prime. You know, it's it's why you have Prime. And all that slow. The glycerin is kind of thick, so we're just kind of letting that shit, you know, slowly drip down in there. It looks like it's about done. Oh, another little drop. We'll get that last drop. Well, that was pretty easy. Oh, yeah. I do enjoy that citrus bomb scent. I really do. I've got a couple other samples too that if this works out well, that I'll be doing, so we'll see. 
Okay, that screws on tight, I guess, to like lock it in place. Locks on the, the reducer. Now let's see, how does this work? If I unscrew it, yeah, it stayed on. Okay, that's kind of cool. So the reducer was in the cap. We screwed it on, it stayed on there. All right, cool. Let me shake it up. It's a hot 93 degree day here in North Carolina today. Got our work feet a little bit ago, but uh, yeah, about an hour and a half. Yeah, it's just before 5 p.m. now. Okay, shook it up and it's, now it's cloudy. It's a little white cloudy. Okay, cool. I'm assuming the glycerin and the, and the, and the oils. Yeah. So that, I guess, is a good thing. So I guess we want to see that cloudy. Oh, yeah. Okay, now the, now the test. A generous splash. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm liking it. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, oh. Hendrix, please excuse me for mis uh, mispronouncing name here in the beginning of the video, but this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Really enjoying this. Um, this as an aftershave, your, your citrus bomb um, oil. Oh, yeah. That smells really good. Very pleased. Looking forward to... Uh, now I gotta try something else because that one came out so good. So yeah, kind of liking that. We'll, we'll see, of course, how it goes over time. Um, but I wanted you to see that. I won't be using that this weekend because I, I've already got other stuff lined up, but I wanted to let you know. I wanted to at least show you this and how simple it was. Three ingredients. I mean, how do you go wrong? It's super easy. You get some glycerin, that's probably the hardest thing is you gotta get the glycerin, but I, I Amazon primed it. And then the citrus balm oil, you go to Hendrix um, and they will send that to you. And then, of course, just your, you know, your white rum at the liquor store or the packing store or however you do it in your state. But this is awesome stuff. So I wanted you to see that and go with God.